Chelsea did the Pain to Pain Half Marathon Trail Race uh, in October? I think it was October. Yeah, uh, October, either thir I think 13th? Something like that, yeah, yeah. Pain to Pain! Oh, you have to talk more about it because I didn't. Well, I, I can tell you this: um, before the race even started, because Chelsea was training for a for New York City Marathon, she had to put in more mileage than the 13 miles of the race, anyhow. So she did a warm up of three miles. And I don't know. I can't remember. Something like three miles. She warmed up, and then she. I integrated the race as a workout. Yeah. And as far as the workout is concerned, I mean, you you um, did pretty well, considering. Yeah. So. I didn't get top three. I got fourth, which is a little sad. I won this race back in 2016. It's a, it's a local and a favorite of many, and yeah. particularly mine. Um, great race director. Local as in New Rochelle, New York, and that's yeah. part of Westchester County, which is what we live in as well. So. And it, it is on a lot of nice... It, I mean, it's on trails, except for like the first mile to get to the trail. You because where it starts off at Thomas Paine's cottage, cottage and, you know, and goes to the trailhead. And it interlinks all these other smaller trails. And it's it's quite a nice uh, network and groom, well-groomed and a lot of good support and just so much fun. I mean, it, there's some harder spots that I always forget about, like a little tiny climbs that you're like, oh. Well, I always feel, feel the beginning of the race is cruel because it starts uphill. I know it's not a big hill, but it just first thing you have to do is run uphill. Yeah, it's not that bad, but if you do too much too hard on it, you'll pay for it later. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it is an incline, but at least it's at the beginning and you, hopefully you can recoup. So that's the ratio? I do like that. Yeah, do you see what it is? <laughs> it's a dozen. It's yeah, because it does in years. Nice. I know. That's actually very cool. <laughs> the little egg cards. Like that. People, the support, exactly. Well, we're here in New Rochelle about uh, half an hour before the start of the Pain to Pain Half Marathon Trail Race. Chelsea's just gone off to do a little bit of a warm-up before that. Um, she's still in training for the New York City Marathon, which is coming up in November, so a couple weeks before that one. So she's doing more than the half marathon distance today. And she's going to start off by doing her warm-up, and she'll probably do a little run after the race as well. But we're going to see how she does with the race, and apparently they're starting some music over here. say hello to folks from within New Rochelle, say welcome to folks from beyond New Rochelle. And the most important thing I can say is thank you to Eric Turkowitz and David Broad and New Row Runners for conceiving this amazing event, which has become a terrific New Rochelle tradition. Give them a huge round of applause, please. To our annual running of the Pain to Pain Trail Marathon. Good luck! 
luck, everybody! Thank you. All right, good luck. Good luck. See you at the finish. Chelsea's off with the, the first wave. She's out there uh, on the trail right now. About half an hour into the race, probably another hour before she hits the finish line. She was looking good, uh, smiling, having a good time at the beginning. Eric, the, the uh, race organizer, did a great job again. Good hosting, <clears throat> good comments about the runners. It was a lot of fun. So we'll see how it goes. We'll probably see Chelsea at the finish line soon. Just spent about a, I don't know, good half hour sitting in the car playing some games. I'm walking over towards the high school. I'm gonna try and get into the uh, into the stadium and get a good view. Try to get a good vantage point for when Chelsea comes in. It should be in another half hour or give or take a little bit. Looking forward to seeing her at the finish. Chelsea just finished fourth female overall, which was pretty awesome. Um, she's not with me right now because now she's going to do her cool down run. So she's going to spend another three miles running while everybody else is finishing the race. She's going to do a cool down run. Of course, she's training for the New York City Marathon uh, in a couple weeks. So this is a almost a training run for her, or a practice run before the race. But. Always impressed and always proud of her, no matter what she does, but she did a great job today and I'm very proud of her. I wish she were here, but she's off cooling down. I'll see you when she comes back. Women, 30 to 39, a prior champion of the race from Portchester, Chelsea Big Fish Ellis. Great medals. I got a towel. That's that was, that was my age group. Yeah. That was first, first in your first age, group. In my yeah. age group. From a spectator point of view, it is a nice race to watch. Uh, there's not too much to see. There's the beginning of the race, which is always fun. They had the fife and drums there. They have they start the race and every wave with some muskets being fired. And um, I watched all the waves start. But then I have what, maybe an hour to kill where I'm sitting in the car playing some video games or something on my phone. And then I made my way over to the stadium where the race finishes. Uh, we all, we got to see, I got to see the first finishers come in. I think the first three people yeah. to finish, Men. all all three of them broke the course record. Yeah. 
even third place broke the course record, even, you know, obviously first place had done that by then, but the previous uh, record. So that was a very fast day for the race. Yeah, it was a good day too. We did, I did a cool down to add the miles and then mm -hmm. called it a day. That's right, did a few more I, miles. I forgot that they had a shower, like they allowed, they let runners use the facilities mm -hmm. and the locker rooms had showers. Maybe next time I'll use it. But we live so close, it's like yeah. a... Just hopped in the car, drove yeah. home, and all set. Yeah. Love this race. Yeah. I think someday I may consider doing it, depending on whether I do another triathlon before it or not. Yeah. Because I was still recovering from the... Um, from the it was, was like, like two weeks Two after. weeks later, so for me that had yeah. been my, my big race, the one I had worked up to. Oh, and remember, <laughs> click on subscribe and like the video if you liked it. And, and suggest any races. Yeah. you think yeah. I should try, or Carl should try. Yeah, we try to do them regionally, but also we'll travel as far as, what, yeah. we've got Chicago. So, yeah. we'll I've travel. Yeah, I've too far out west. But. Yeah. Yeah. So, let us know what you think we should be doing. Uh, it's fun for us to try different things, and we've done a lot of the races in our area multiple times now. Yeah. So Maybe one of these days we'll talk about our equipment and nutrition and stuff. Yeah. Good plan. One of these days. <laughs>